Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, 1046, last stone way. Uh, we have a collection of rocks. Each rock has a positive integer way. Uh, each turn, we choose the two heaviest rocks and smash them together. Suppose the stones have weight, weights uh, x, y, with x is equal to less than y. The result of the smash is if x is equal to y, uh, both stones are totally destroyed. If x is not equal to y, the stone of weight x is totally destroyed, and the stone of weight y is, has new weight y minus x. In the end, there is at most one stone left. We turn the weight of this stone. But still, if there's no stone left. Uh, okay. Uh, this seems pretty well to be straightforward. There's a. Uh, yeah. So the number of stones is 30, so we can actually do, do, uh, uh, um, do this pretty quickly uh, with some just brute force. Uh, uh, you could do some like n cube type things or n square you I mean either way works uh, if if the um, if the number of stones is a, a lot more uh, actually then you could I mean there's you can actually do this in n log n uh, but this seems unnecessary for a easy problem with these constraints um, so I'm gonna just do that then <laughs> uh, cool uh, Yeah, I'll just do the n square solution. Maybe. <laughs> Let me look up C sharp and party queues for a second. Yeah. Not sure why there isn't one, so eh, maybe I'll use Python then. I'm just gonna use the party queue. Just because I'm, it's actually slightly easier to write for me, but uh, I guess just don't do it. Yep. Well, oh, actually. Push. Nope. Uh, something like that. Um, okay, let's put it out just making sure that I have uh, I have a correct. Okay, that, that looks roughly right. Uh, though this is a min uh, min heap, so we'll, put, eh, we'll just kind of negate it to get the max heap. We'll try again. You should have a negative eight in for it. But okay. Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, so now we take the two heaviest uh, uh, items. I guess there's more item two. Uh, let's just use x y. Uh, just using the language of the problem. Actually, y is the bigger one. So. Um, They're both destroyed, okay. okay. So then you just uh, push mm. the next one is even one. And then that's it. Um, uh, 
Mm, okay. Oops. Hmm. Okay. It's okay. I would actually just print this out because they um, actually gave it a step by step so we could kind of double check. Uh, yep, so this matches the examples, so that looks good. Uh, and then the only other test I would write is um, just when you have two things that are the same, I guess. So that should return zero. Oh, that's cool. Yep, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I, so this is a relatively straightforward problem. I mean, it's a easy, though I think I solved it in a way that is that uh, it's a little bit hammery for uh, an end equals dirty. But uh, when, when you, uh, yeah, when you look at you see a problem and see that you want to repeat only uh, um, get the min or max of something, uh, usually heap so he, or uh, putting them in a heap or variety queue uh, is probably the way to, to go. And uh, thinking about it that way, um, yeah, I mean I think this is a very straightforward problem. And depending on uh, 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 like as an interviewee, uh, you know it's okay. I mean it's not nothing tricky. I think it's okay. Uh, as an interviewer, um, uh, I think the different variations on this. Uh, some people might, I mean, I could see this being uh, an interview problem. Uh, people might ask, actually ask you to uh, uh, implement the heap, maybe, for example. Uh, I think for me, generally, I don't, um, you know, I allow the people to use uh, uh, whatever, you know, whatever uh, a language construct they want. If they know about it, then they should be more than happy to use it. Um, and, you know, I mean, yeah, you know, try to simulate the real world as much as possible, uh, and um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, but generally, I also let people go, you know, use Google uh, to kind of search for language stuff because you know, yeah, I mean, that's that's how I mean that's what real life people do anyway. So, uh, not not a shame of it. So, not going to ask you for a random trivia. Uh, 